student last week we have read our unit 1 the earth and the environment in which sub topic is looking at the region uh, we have read region are the areas that have common features all countries of the world can be divided into regional based on different characteristic a climatic region is an area that has a common climate for example a hot climatic region or a cold climatic region a region can also be based on a physical feature for example area with mountainous area with mountains are classified as mountainous region dividing large area of land into region help us to better understand them and their special characteristic now pakistan can be divided into following regions based on physical characteristic this is the map of pakistan here is the different regions which we divide pakistan mountains plateau desert weather and climate are two similar words with very different meanings as a result many people end up using them incorrectly weather refers to conditions of the atmosphere over a short period of time from minutes to days while climate means average weather of a place over a period of many many years Weather is what TV presenters forecast like sunny, cloudy, windy, storm, etc. Here are the key differences. Weather can change within a few minutes or hours, while climate takes hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years to change. In other words, climate lasts all the time, and weather only a few days or even a few minutes. Examples for weather include They were hoping for good weather today. I got caught up in really bad weather yesterday. Examples for climate include Many parts of Africa have harsh climates. She missed the cool climate of southern Wales. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum student. In week 2 our topic is from weather to climate. And now I'm going to explain what is weather and what is climate. Weather is the name we use for the changing atmosphere, atmospheric condition at any given time. In most part of the world, the weather keeps changing. It is not remain the same for long time. Now further, I am going to explain it. To determine the weather of a place, it is necessary to note the temperature, precipitation, humidity, wind and air pressure because a change in any of these factors will affect the weather meteorologist can determine the different weather condition by measuring them in the weather or meteorological station now first we will see what is meteorologist here you can see a meteorologist is a person who studies the weather and climate using computer technology and information from satellite Meteorologists are able to form forecast the weather quite accurately jaise aaj kal hum apne mobile mein pehle se dekh lete hain ki kaun sa weather ab hame next day kaun kis tarah ka weather hame milne wala hai now the same meteorologist ka aapko define kiya kaun hota hai meteorologist can determine the different weather condition by measuring them in the weather of weather or weather in the weather or meteorological station okay children uh, different weather condition different condition of weather are measured in the meteorological station here is a picture of a simple weather station see some instrument you can see wind vane anemometer thermometer screen rain gauge and sunshine recorder now we are going to see the instrument which measure the weather see the instrument first is thermometer see 
जब आपको टेम्परेचर होता है घर में तो मामा अमूमन आपके मुंह में थर्मामीटर रखती हैं जो आपका टेम्परेचर नोट डाउन करता है इसी तरह जब हमें टेम्परेचर नोट डाउन करना हो वेदर का तो वी यूज थर्मामीटर हेर इज़ द थर्मामीटर weather and climate weather weather is the condition of the atmosphere of a place at a particular time the weather of a place can change rapidly it may be bright and sunny with a clear sky in the morning while in the evening the sky may be covered with dark clouds It may start raining in the morning but the afternoon may be bright and sunny. The weather of a particular place depends on the temperature, the moisture in the air, the pressure of air, the movement of air or wind. Temperature. Temperature is the extent of hotness and coldness of a place. The earth gets heated by the sun. As the sunlight reaches the earth, the land and the seas heat up and warm the atmosphere. This warming up of the atmosphere raises the temperature. Moisture of water vapor is always present in the air. The amount of moisture in the air rises when the sun's heat converts water from the oceans seas rivers and lakes into water vapor this is the reason why coastal areas get more rainfall than places away from the coast air pressure is the weight of air as experienced from all directions on land when air heats up it rises and creates an area of low pressure on the earth's surface the surrounding cool air moves in to replace this rising air this air comes from areas where the pressure is high this movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area causes wind the wind is sometimes a light pleasant breeze at other times it can be very strong and can cause a storm or a hurricane climate climate is the weather condition of an area over a long period of time climate of a place depends on its average monthly or yearly temperature average amount of rainfall or snow climate influences the type of food people grow and eat the type of clothes they wear the type of homes they live in the types of plants that grow and animals that can live in the region seasons the seasons of the earth occur because of the rotation of the earth on its axis and revolution around the sun there are mainly three seasons in india summer monsoon and winter summer from march onwards it grows hot march april and may are the summer months monsoon from the month of june rain clouds gather in the sky bringing rain to most parts of india the rains continue till the end of september june july august and september are rainy months winter after the rains the weather becomes drier and cooler october November, December, January and February 
are winter months. January is the coldest month. Seasons change in an orderly fashion. This change of seasons from summer to monsoon to winter is called the cycle of seasons. Now student, see the picture below. This table given us the instrument used to measure different condition of weather. See, first is thermometer, rain gauge, wind vane, anemometer, and barometer, and hygrometer. Now, I am going to explain it. Thermometer, as this is my year, temperature. Jaysay aapko bukhaar hota hai, to mama aapke mou mein thermometer lagati hai, jisse aapka temperature note down hota hai. Isi tarah, mousam ka temperature, malum karne ke liye thermometer use hota hai. Is my year, with a thermometer, it tells us how hot or cold a place is or it is used unit, unit used for this measurement degree Fahrenheit F degree Celsius matlab centigrade. So thermometer may Fahrenheit or centigrade ke keys hoti hai. See the keys. Now next rainfall. Precipitation is measured with a rain gauge rain se pata chal raha hai ki ye rain ko measure karta hai see rain iske andar aati hai measuring unit mein aur is tarah hum rain ko millimeter mein ye measure karte hain yaad rakhiyega rain ko millimeter mein measure karte hain then wind vane wind vane se pata chal raha hai aapko north south east west kis taraf ki wind hai wind direction is indicated by a wind vane याद रखिएगा wind vane wind direction को indicate करती है the arrow point to the direction opposite to where the wind comes from ये arrow उसी जगह पे घूम जाता है जिस तरफ से हवा का pressure हो जिस तरफ से हवा आ रही हो north south east west and the intermediate directions ये चारों direction में घूमता है ये इसका unit है now anemometer here is the anemometer it measure wind speed using an anemometer when the wind spin, spin the shaft the speed of its movement is recorded or is ko milli bar se hum anemometer not sorry any not se karte hain nautical miles per hour jaise aeroplane jab chalte hain to unko bhi nautical mile per hour se measure karte hain then air pressure barometer air pressure is weight of the air pressing down on the earth surface it is measured by a barometer or its key unit key hai millibar mb then last is hygrometer see the instrument hygrometer humidity, humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air the instrument used to measure hum humidity is called the hygrometer. Or is ko hum hamesha measure karte hain kilogram, kg. Theek hai? Gram or kilogram se karte hain. Ab aap ek video dekhe, jisse aapko tamam instrument bhot achhe tarikhe se samaj jayenge. Hi guys and gals. This is Mrs. Givens, and today this video is going to talk to you about weather tools. Weather tools are the objects that scientists use to measure the weather. The first weather tool we're going to learn about is an anemometer. An anemometer measures the wind speed with these cups that catch the wind. They turn a dial that's attached to the instrument, and the dial shows how fast the wind is going. It shows its speed. Everyone say, anemometer. Next, we have a barometer. A barometer measures the air pressure. It tells you whether or not the pressure is rising or falling. That means going up or going down. 
a rising barometer that's going up means it's sunny and dry, while a falling barometer that's going down means it's stormy and wet. An Italian scientist named Torricelli built the first barometer in 1960. In 1643, not 1943, everybody say barometer. The next weather tool is a thermometer. A thermometer is a tool that measures the air temperature. This thermometer is digital. It shows the temperature on a screen. This is a rain gauge. A rain gauge measures the amount of rain that has fallen over a certain period of time. The container fills with the rain and you can see how much rain has fallen by the measurement like a ruler. Everybody say rain gauge. This is another type of thermometer. This thermometer also measures the air temperature and this one is a closed glass tube that contains a liquid like mercury. When air around the tube heats up, the liquid, the liquid expands and moves up the tube. A scale then shows what the actual temperature is. In this picture, it shows that the air temperature is 70 degrees. Everybody say thermometer. This is a weather balloon. A weather balloon measures conditions higher up in the atmosphere, way high in the sky. The balloon is filled with helium and pulls the thermometer up into the atmosphere where the air temperature can be measured. Everybody say weather balloon. This is a weather vane or a wind vane. It's an instrument that tells the direction from which the wind is blowing. The wind can be blowing from the north, the south, the east, or the west. Everybody say weather vane. What does this one look like? It looks like a cone. It's called a windsock. A windsock is shaped like a cone or, and it resembles a giant sock or sock that would go up to your knee. It's designed to tell which direction the wind is blowing and at what speed it's blowing. Everybody say windsock. You're going to work on a paper that shows all of these weather tools. You're going to color the pictures that show the picture the tools that are used to measure the weather. There are other tools that are used to measure weather, and one of them is your eyes. Your eyes are one of the best ways to help detect the weather. By looking up in the sky, you can see what's going on. Always keep an eye at the sky, and you'll usually be on top of the weather conditions. Thanks for watching. Bye, scientists.